everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel, the Safety and Compliance Center. I am here to make learning HSE simple, practical and exciting. Let's work together to unlock your potential and build a successful career in health, safety and environment. In this video, we will walk you through the Saudi Aramco critical requirements for atmospheric gas testing inside a confined space. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the safe uh, gas levels uh, required inside a confined space as per the Saudi Aramco standards. Well, confined spaces can be silent killers, often hiding invisible hazards like low oxygen level, the flammable vapors or the toxic gases. So Saudi Aramco enforces strict atmospheric gas testing rules to protect the workers and prevent the life-threatening accidents. Before entering into a confined space, uh, you must test for three key hazards, the oxygen levels, uh, the flammable gases, which is measured in a percentage of uh, the lower uh, explosive limit or the LEL, and the presence of toxic gases such as the hydrogen sulfide and uh, the carbon monoxide gas. Saudi Aramco approved uh, devices like the LTX310 and the LTX412 must be used these uh, tools require at least 16% uh, of the oxygen level inside the confined space to detect the flammable gas correctly. That is why the oxygen is checked first. Uh, remember the 16% of the oxygen level will uh, enable the gas detector to, uh, to detect the, the concentration of gases, uh, especially the flammable gas inside the confined space in a correct manner. The major question uh, arising in a confined space, when to perform the gas test? So the gas test shall be performed uh, before uh, each entry into the confined space, after any break is taken during the work or if the conditions are suspected to change due to the activity or uh, another reason. So the gas test uh, shall be performed and uh, uh, during the normal activities every two hours the gas uh, test shall be conducted continuously. This uh, ensures the continuous protection throughout the job. Only a Saudi Aramco certified gas tester can perform the gas testing inside the confined space uh, following the GI 2.709. For the gross root uh, projects, uh, the contractor must comply with the SOPO approved uh, internal work permit system. Well, before entering uh, the confined spaces, all mechanical ventilation need to be turned off for at least 15 minutes if the testing shows the unsafe oxygen levels or if the flammable or toxic gases are present. So nobody is allowed to enter into the confined space. Uh, confined space entry is only allowed once the purging and the retesting is confirmed and the safe atmospheric conditions are ensured, then uh, the work should be resumed. During the job, ventilation uh, must be running continuously and con continuous monitoring is required, especially during the hot work like welding and cutting uh, activity. This ensures the contaminants are uh, being removed and uh, not accumulating inside the confined spaces. Here are uh, some uh, parameters that are acceptable uh, level of uh, gases for entering into the confined space. The oxygen level must be uh, between 20% and 23.5%. The flammable gas is uh, must be uh, less than 5%, but remember for the hot work activity, the LEL must be zero. And uh, for the car carbon monoxide gas uh, must be 35 ppm or less than. Uh, the same, the H2S uh, must be 10 ppm or less than 10 ppm, then you can uh, enter into the confined space. Well, here are mentioned uh, the gas test levels that require the respiratory protective equipment. If uh, the conditions are uh, borderline, like the low oxygen or slightly elevated gas levels, so worker must wear the uh, appropriate uh, atmospheric uh, supplying uh, respirator. So the parameters are if the oxygen is uh, less than 20%, uh, if the LEL is equal or uh, greater than 5% uh, and which is less than 50%, or the CO is greater than 35 ppm and equal or less than uh, 1200 ppm. The H2S is uh, greater than uh, 10 ppm and equal or less than 100 ppm. In these conditions or with these parameters, uh, entry is only allowed with the, with the provision of appropriate uh, respiratory protective equipment. However, it will require additional approvals, uh, including a division head counter uh, signature on the work permit. 
Well, here are some conditions which strictly prohibit the entry into the confined spaces like if the oxygen uh, level is about 23.5 percent or the LEL is uh, 50 percent or higher or the uh, CO uh, uh, gas is uh, over uh, 1200 ppm or the H2S is over uh, 100 ppm. So in these cases, uh, entry into the confined space is uh, strictly prohibited by Saudi Aramco standards or in case of any other uh, type of uh, toxic gases which, in, in, which exceed the IDLH level. So IDLH means the immediately uh, dangerous to life and health. So with this concentration, nobody is allowed to enter in the confined space. Well, in case of any emergency condition, like if the hazardous conditions inside the confined spaces are detected, so uh, confined spaces must be evacuated uh, immediately. Uh, the corrective action shall be taken in accordance with the specific uh, confined space entry plan and the emergency response procedure available at the place. And uh, uh, after the corrective action, the confined space entry supervisor must verify the, uh, that the area is safe to re-enter. Uh, well, to conclude the session, uh, remember always uh, follow the Saudi Aramco gas testing uh, requirements. Uh, use uh, certified and calibrated uh, gas testing equipment. Keep the gas testing uh, monitoring uh, continuously and act fast if uh, any kind of danger is detected. Safety is not optional. It is a responsibility of everyone. Thank you very much for watching this video from the Safety and Compliance Center. Drop your question to the comment section and I will respond it shortly. This is your channel. Like it, subscribe it for more safety content. Stay safe, stay blessed. Goodbye.